All right, on Friday you learned um, some calculator to use. You learned that you have a log button on your calculator, and that is always a base 10 logarithms. So if I said the log of a thousand, that means 10 to the what power is equal to a thousand. So x would equal three. Because there's an understood when you press the log button on your calculator of a base 10. This is called a common log. You also learned about an antilog, which is uh, the second on your calculator, and then the log button. And basically it's saying what, um, like if I said three, the second log three, or the antilog of three, it's going to give you an answer of a thousand. It's like the reverse or inverse of the log. So just for a review, go ahead and pick up your calculator and make sure you can do these on your calculator. Find the log of 58.2 and find the log of 0.3. And you should get on this one 1.7649 and on this one negative 0.5 229. So that's just strictly calculator use. Um, now I want you to find the anti log of these numbers 0 0.6304 and 0 0.3194. The anti log, remember, is your second and then your log. You're looking for the log of what number is going to give me that answer. And when I press that in, I find that the answer is 4.2697. So truthfully, the log of that number gives me this. Or the antilog of this gives me that. The antilog of this number is going to give me 2.0864. So what that means is if I take the log of 2.0864, my answer is this. So the antilog gives me that. Okay? We're going to do more calculator use today. Um, today we're going to be talking about something called a natural log. Okay? So this is a common log. Common log is totally based on a, on a base of 10. The natural log which on your calculator is the button LN, and you also have an anti-natural log, and that's going to be your second button, and then your LN button. Okay, those are two, they're very similar to the common log. Common log is based on a base of 10. The natural log is based on a base of E. But it's not just a variable of an E. E actually has a number associated with it. So if you pick up your calculator, you will find the E right above the division sign. So if I do second and then division sign, that's going to give me um, oops, hold on. It's going to put an E on your calculator, and if you press enter, you'll find that E, rounded off, is a value of that. Just like pi has a value of 3.14, E always has a value of 2.72, and that's rounded off. Just like pi never ends, E never ends. And if you just want to know how that value is derived, E is basically equal to 1 over 1, plus 1 over 1 times 2, plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3, plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And you can see how it would never end. But that's the value for E is 2.72. Uh, in your book, when you do these problems with a natural log or a base of E, it almost looks like it's I in. That's because that's a lowercase L that they use. I think they typically, it actually looks like that in your book. 
Okay, but understand that's actually LN or natural log. Um, all right, so pick up your calculator again and see if you can find the natural log of 3.925. Go ahead and do it out on your calculator. It should equal approximately 1.3674, and you round into four places after the decimal. And then if I ask you to do the anti-log, anti-natural log of, let's see, 3.4825, okay, the anti natural log of 3.4825. Do that on your calculator. Remember that's your second and then your LN button and then put that in and it should give you approximately 32.5410 if you've plugged it in correctly. Okay, um, the natural log is often used in formulas. Okay, so you will have some homework that is just using the calculator to find that. But there's an example on page 623 in your book. Example number three, it says use the formula S equals 83 e to the 0.024 t power and the natural logarithm to determine about how many different U.S. postage stamps will have been issued by from 1884 to 2008. Well, that's going to be your time. So 2008 minus 1884 is going to give me approximately 160 years, okay? Now, the truth of the matter is I'm just going to plug in here. I'm not even going to use the anti-log because I have an E button on my calculator. So I'm going to actually put that into my calculator. And I'm going to raise it to the 0 .024 times 160 power. So truthfully, just put a multiplication between that, you're going to go 83, then the E button on your calculator, raise to parenthesis 0 .024 times 160. You should get a value there of 3,862 postage stamps. Okay, they that's how many have been issued. Okay, so that's just using the E button on your calculator, which is not a big deal. Okay, um, then look at example four on that same page in your book. This is using the PERT formula. Okay, this is in uh, finances. The PERT formula basically allows you to figure out how much you can make by investing P amount of money for a certain rate and a certain time um, with continuous compounded interest. So it says Mr. and Mrs. Franco are planning to take a cruise for their 25th wedding anniversary. They have six years to save $3,500 for the cruise, if the six-year certificate of deposit they buy pays 8%, so it's 8% and it's six years, um, and it's compounded continuously, so in other words, I'm using that formula, how much should they have lit, invested now in order to have at least 3,500 for the cruise? So the PERT is going to have to be greater than or equal to 3,500. They're going to have to make an initial investment, okay, which is your P, but we don't know what that is. So that's my unknown, and I have my E, which E is not an unknown. It's a button on your calculator, or it's 2.72 if you want to put it in there by hand. The rate, i got to take that and make it into a decimal, so decimal 0, 08 times six is got to be greater than or equal to 3,500. All right, so I can get a value right there for E raised to the third power, and basically that's going to be E raised to the decimal 48 power. I want to solve for the P, so as you can see, I'm going to divide by E to the raised to the 0.48 power. So P is greater than or equal to 3,500, I'm just going to do it on my calculator, 
divided by parentheses, e raised to the 48th power. Remember, you do that with the that button. Okay, and I find that they should have invested either $2,165.74 or more than that. So their initial investment has to be that much or greater. So you can see how that's using the E in a problem. Okay? Um, all right. Let's do one where the power is unknown. That makes it a little bit easier. Um, this is actually using the PERT formula again, okay, and let me read it off for you. Um, suppose 200, um, suppose $250 is deposited, so that's going to be your P into account, the interest rate is 10%, so R is equal to 10%, and it's compounded continuously, so I know I'm using PERT. When will the original deposit be doubled? So what I'm trying to find is I'm trying to find T. So I know my initial is 500, or 250, okay, and I want it doubled, so I want it to equal 500. 250 times E raised to the 0 0.01 times T power. You can see how this is different because my T is in my exponent position. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 250. So what I have over here is E raised to the 0 .01, uh, 0 0.01 T power is equal to 2. Well, now, if you remember right, oh, actually, that's not 0 0.01, that's just 0.1. I moved the decimal one place too many. Okay, so this part right here, remember, can be moved to the front of it um, with a logarithm. So I have 0 0.10t times the natural log of E equals what I, have to, what I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other side. So this is ln. I guess I should make it lowercase. Okay, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, so what I do to one side, so I took to the natural log on one side, I'm going to take the natural log on the other side. Now, the natural log of E is the same thing as the natural log of base E of E. So that's 1. This whole thing right there is equal to 1. So I have 1 times 1 uh, decimal, 1, 0, T is equal to, and then natural log, and I'm going to have to come up to the top, is equal to, when I do it out of my calculator, 0.6931. Okay, I'm going to bring it up here so you can still see it. So, I've got 0.10t is equal to 0.6931. I'm going to divide by 0.1, and I'm going to get t is equal to 6.93 years. Okay? Um, you're going to have a few word problems, not much. Most of it's just calculator use. Um, if you get stuck on those, you can text me and I can help you out on them and, um, and get it done, or you can wait and I'll correct it and send it back to you after you've turned your homework in. All right, I want you to do page 624, 11 through 28 all. That's mostly calculator use. Pay attention to whether it is the natural log or the anti-natural log. You're going to have some of both. And then I also want you to do number 34. That's the only word problem that you're going to have. Okay?